The reform leader, Nigel Farage, has been criticised by Labour and the Tories for not doing enough to tackle accusations of racism within his party. Reform confirmed it had kicked out three candidates who reportedly published racist and offensive remarks on social media. Reform also said they're reporting Channel 4 News to the Electoral Commission. A spokesperson for Channel 4 News said we stand by our journalism. And a warning, there is highly offensive language in this report by Jane Dodge. On Armed Forces Day, the two men vying to be the next Prime Minister wanted to focus on defence spending. I'm certainly going to get one of these. Rishi Sunak told former soldiers at a cafe in his North Yorkshire constituency about his plans for a veterans bill. He said it would improve services for people like them. He didn't speak to journalists, but his security minister did. And as a veteran myself, you know, I know that looking after veterans is one way of making sure that you're standing with soldiers, sailors and air personnel who are serving today. Sir Keir Starmer was in Aldershot, the home of the British Army. He dismissed Tory suggestions that Labour would be a threat to national security and said if he becomes Prime Minister, he wants to match Tory commitments on defence spending. We do want to get to 2.5%. Um, and it's really important that that's consistent with fiscal rules. The first thing we'll do is carry out a strategic review of resources, of capability, to make sure that the money we are spending is spent effectively on the things that we need. Sakir said he shared Rishi Sunak's disgust at racist and misogynistic comments made by some of those involved in the Reform Party. On a BBC Question Time debate last night, the party leader, Nigel Farage, was asked in particular about comments made by three reform candidates. I wouldn't want anything to do with them. So, shall we take it that you have withdrawn your support yes, from these three people? I want people? nothing to do with them. That was backed up by his deputy in the so-called spin room afterwards. Any one of our candidates or indeed supporters who shows homophobic, uh, racist abuse or indeed incitement to violence or indeed Islamophobia is not welcome in this party. So absolutely, you're out. But it took until this afternoon for the party to announce the three candidates were out. Leslie Lilly was Reform's candidate for South End East and Rochford. Edward Oakenfall was candidate for Derbyshire Dales. And Robert Lomas was standing for Reform in Barnsley North. They'll still be on the ballot papers as reform candidates, though, because it's too late to change names. It follows an undercover investigation by this programme into Mr Farage's Clacton campaign. It included a reform canvasser, Andrew Parker, making these comments about Rishi Sunak. I've always been a Tory voter. What annoys me is... We got him. What's good is he? You tell me, you know, he's just wet. Mr. Farage has described the revelations as a political setup and claims Mr. Parker was playing a part. But Mr. Parker has gone on record to say he wasn't paid by anyone, and although he has done some acting work, his main job is in property. Our footage broadcast last night shows how a campaign organiser randomly assigned our investigator to Mr Parker, introducing them for the first time. Have you guys not got anyone? Yeah, um, anyone? Do you want to come with me? Yeah, don't mind. Yeah, I've got a car, a BMW, brilliant. Let's go. Yeah. The outrage in response to the revelations is the one issue that seems to be uniting politicians from the other larger parties. Liberal Democrats share no values with Mr Farage. He can sort himself out. Uh, my job as Liberal Democrat leader is to tell you what we're about. I want to fight a positive can of campaign about how we rescue our NHS and make sure we get the investment in health and care. The leadership of reform should be focusing on getting racist and misogynistic views out of their candidates, out of the people they're putting up uh, for uh, election uh, in a few days' time, and sorting their own house out rather than spreading somewhat bizarre conspiracy theories. There's something rotten at the heart of this operation. In the end, to Nigel Farage, a leader defines the culture and standards in their party. And that's the real test of Nigel Farage. He wants to be a leader, but he's failing to sort out his own party. As Labour hold a rally in London tonight, more allegations have emerged about another five reform candidates. 
this time in a dossier compiled by the campaign against anti-Semitism. The controversy about the calibre of reforms candidates is far from over.